Good morning guys! Today is Vlogmas Day 10 and here is your helpful reminder just in case you've forgotten. There are only 15 days until Christmas. Right now you're either going yay like my kids in the back or you're like us and you're going uh-uh no 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 too close not enough time. <laughs> so Right now we are running out to do some more Christmas stuff shopping. I need to find cards, I need to find a stocking for Sean, and a bunch of other stuff. And we're lucky today that even though it is freezing cold and there is some cloud cover, right now we have a little bit of sun going on, so that's kind of nice. Hey guys, so we just ran through Kirkland's and Home Goods and found absolutely nothing that we needed. So I'm not quite sure where we're going next. Um, mall maybe? Possibly, yeah. But we still have to find, yeah, because they have we need to still find Christmas cards, still find a stocking, and a bunch of other stuff. And we are just not having any luck today. All right, guys. So um, at the mall, was pretty much a fail. We managed to get some soaps and some hand sanitizer at Bath and Byworks because they're having another one of their big sales. Didn't find cards, didn't find stockings, basically didn't find anything. So we stopped and we're having lunch at Chick-fil-A right now and then we're going to continue the hunt and hopefully we'll end up finding something. Say hello! <laughs> and all three of these kids are behaving pretty well so far today. So. One of our daughters has a special skill that any time we're anywhere where there's a lot of nylon, yeah. her hair goes a little nuts. Just that? A little nut. Yeah, just just a a little. Don't worry about it, Katie. It looks looks fine. <laughs> <laughs> Katie. <laughs> wow. But anyway, guys, we managed to find a hat for Logan and a hat for my husband at Kohl's and now we're looking for hats for the girls and it's kind of difficult because a lot of the women's hats are not very warm they're like mine where they're just fashion hats and the wind goes right through them or the little girls hats are too um too small for them Good morning guys and welcome to Vlogmas Day 11. Alright guys, so this morning we decided we wanted to go out for breakfast. Technically brunch because it's almost noon. I wanted to do makeup today and we decided we want to get out of the house quickly. So I packed my emergency, got to do my makeup in the car bag. I wanted to show you guys what I bring with me when I have to do my makeup really fast. So, I have eyelash curler, of course, that's a requirement. I always bring my Lorac Pro 2 palette. I don't have to think about what palette to bring, and it's got a row of mattes and a row of um, satiny metallicies. So, um, I can pretty much do whatever look I want with this one palette, as long as it's cool toned blush brush, my Tarte blush, and this one is in the shade Entertain. It's just a nice neutral pink. I bring my e.l.f. foundation brush. The reason I bring this one is so that I don't have to have a place to wet a beauty blender, and I don't have a damp beauty blender sitting in my makeup bag all day and it works very, very fast. My Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Maybelline Dream Velvet Foundation. 
this one is a nice thick foundation so it doesn't slip and slide. I can stick it on the back of my hand and it won't drip all over the place. Uh, Benefit Roller Lash, just the one I grabbed today. It, mascara really doesn't matter though the super spiky hard wands aren't the best for doing your makeup in the car. Today I brought the Laura Mercier Rose Gold Eye Color because I want to use this as my base. My Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow. And then the rest of the brushes I brought are this small little tiny one from Wet n Wild. This is what I use for my eyebrows. This flat shadow brush from Real Techniques. I use this for my base shadows. This is what they call the base shadow brush, but it's actually really fluffy and it's tapered. So I like using this one for doing my crease color, for blending out. It's very versatile. And then I also bring the Deluxe Crease Brush. This one is way too big to use in my crease. So if it's clean, I will use this for blending out shadows. Or what I've been using it for more lately is I will actually use this to blend the concealer underneath my eyes if I don't have a beauty blender with me. And I'll also use this to apply um, eyeshadow primer because it's just perfect for that. It's nice and dense and round. So yeah. I spent about half of my makeup time showing you guys what I actually use. I don't have a car mount right now, and with the roads the way they are, it finally started snowing. I don't trust having my camera up on the dash, so I'm going to go ahead and get started on my makeup, and I will see you guys at breakfast. Hey guys, I forgot real quick because it was in my purse, but I wanted to show you the It Cosmetics uh, Celebration Foundation Illumination in light is what I like to keep in my bag for setting um, my under eyes, my foundation, whatever I need to set or for touching up during the day just because it's light and if all the concealer on my nose wears off I can use this and it will basically fill in and it won't be as red anymore. So this is what I keep as an all-in-one setting powder. Hey you, are you having breakfast? <gasps> you. Is that yummy? Is that good? No. <laughs> How much has he eaten now? More than enough. He's good for like the rest of the day. I think he'll, have, I think he'll want dinner. Are you stuck? He's like, no, give me the fork. <laughs> that pipe had, that pipe had apple butter with cream on it. I want more. Ooh. He's that good. <laughs> so when you can't think of what to get that special someone, you've got a yard of beef. Guys, we just got through Sam's Club. The only things we needed to get in there was um, work gloves, but I also found something that I got a little too excited about. Um, <laughs> you're pulling it. Here you go. I can't even lift it. It's too heavy. Okay, yeah, Lysol. I know this sounds crazy, but. This, this is the good stuff. That's a good stuff. That's a brand three Lysol. If it says brand three on it, it kills everything. Like absolutely everything. That's the type of Lysol that is um, approved for use in hospitals and blood banks and daycares. Cold, influenza, HIV, small dogs. <laughs> Yeah, it pretty much takes care of everything. The reason that's so important to me is no, I'm not one of those people who will disinfect like every single doorknob every single day. The real question is, will it kill a cockamouse? <laughs> you know, I haven't seen a cockamouse to try it. Well then. What is in the world is a cockamouse? A cockamouse. It is a cross between a mouse and a cockroach. Yeah. yeah, and they can fly. Ten, ten points to anybody who can guess what the cockmouse is from. Yes. 
Yeah, comment down below if you know what the cockamouse is from. Australia? New York. Possibly. New York, technically. New York, really. Or at least that's where it's been sighted. Wait a minute, the cockamouse the uh -huh. is real. Depends on how much TV you watch. Run for your life! <laughs> 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 but um I am absolutely one of my biggest things that I do not like is throwing up. And one year we got stomach flu. Make a horrible bulimic. So bad. Yes, I would make a horrible bulimic. Um one year we got stomach flu so bad that all of us could not like move for two weeks. We were just done. Um, so anytime anyone throws up in the house, I automatically treat it as if it is highly, highly, highly infectious, even though it could be something as simple as a kid ate their peanut butter and jelly sandwich too fast, which happened earlier this week. Um, yeah, when I said Alexis got sick, she ate her peanut butter and jelly sandwich too fast. So, um, having something in the house that's a really good disinfectant is a very good thing because I kind of lice all the crap out of everything. Also, um, with the people Mike works with, a lot of people will still come to work when they're sick. So a lot of times he'll be a carrier and not know it. So I have to be extra careful this time of year. Also, we know some people who tend to get very ill and still show up at events and things like that. And it's just not good. So the more Lysol I can have on hand, the better. So I got four cans of stuff that will kill anything. And I may actually give one of those to my mom for her house. Just because it's a really, really good disinfectant. Well, she's got the hospital grade hand soap. Yeah, she's got the hand soap. But I don't know if she has a really good Lysol for like her doorknobs and stuff. Yeah, that's true. You can turn your mother into a terrible flow. My mom is a germaphobe, as am I, and, we, and neither of us get sick very often, and I'd like to keep it that way. You're an enabler. Yes, I am. You're welcome. I enable your cheese addiction, don't I? Fair enough. <laughs> Alright guys, so next we are headed to a couple craft stores to look for a few things, and we have something we need to return, and yeah, that's we're just kind of running ketchup errands today. All right, so we are home. We just got in the door and got the oven preheated. And we are getting ready to make a chicken pot pie. This one's from Earth Fair. And it's got I, 100 layers of silicone on it. Yeah, which really doesn't seem very, you know, sustainable. But They were thorough. Yes. Cellophane wrap it. Tape it closed. Cellophane, cellophane wrap it again. They want to make sure you don't cook it in the plastic, I'm guessing. Yeah, they want to make sure that you have to take it out. Um, can you give me another dish to put this on or in? A uh, dish, like a cooking dish? Yeah. Oh. Cookie tray. Thank you. Cookie tray is the appropriate... Uh... But I'm hoping they, this is good because... I've made chicken pot pies before and they take like three hours to prep and then another to cook typically especially if you're making the crust from scratch so right. it looks good still cold as yeah, flaky crust that's good all right and it goes in you go 45 yep Cook well. 